Bad weather today forced extra work for crews preparing for the final space shuttle mission. Workers are checking for any damage to Atlantis lightning may have hit it. Right now, the launch still is set for tomorrow morning. Chief Meteorologist Glenn Burns is live at the Kennedy Space Station and witnessed that bad storm. Glenn. John, it's been very squally all day. There's a tropical system trying to spin up down just south of us right now. We've seen wave after wave of rain this afternoon, and around 1 o'clock this afternoon, three huge lightning bolts hit the Kennedy Space Center, and one of those may have been close or hit the retracting arm on the space platform, the launch platform. So NASA is out there right now trying to investigate that to see what happens. So hopefully everything will go according to plan tomorrow, and we might be on the eve of the final space shuttle launch. And on this eve, we had a chance to talk to George Miller, the creator of the space shuttle program, and George Miller says this fleet should probably have been retired years ago. The space shuttle has more than a million moving parts and one moving force when it came together. George Miller is known as the father of the space shuttle. There were a lot of people behind it, but he was a major uh, driver behind it uh, coming into existence. As NASA's head of manned spaceflight in the 1960s, Miller was secretly planning the shuttle before we even landed on the moon. He is with us from his home near Seattle. It took an awful lot of, of work to get everybody uh, agreeing that we needed a space shuttle back in 1969 and liftoff of space shuttle Discovery. Miller would have replaced the shuttle years ago because it never lived up to his expectations he wanted it to fly as frequently as a jet plane but the military altered the design to meet its needs the changes required more prep time and drove up flight costs its economics would be considerably better if you were flying ten times a year rather than twice or three times a year and uh, that, that's just simple economics. Miller wants NASA to develop nuclear rockets that could someday take us to other planets. He doesn't want to see us go back to traditional rockets and capsules. They're using the technology uh, developed uh, 50 some odd years ago. And uh, that is hardly a major step forward in improving our cost of getting into space. He knows NASA can drive a new era of discovery. On that point, he says he does not plan to watch the final shuttle liftoff. He'd rather look ahead to the next big leap. And believe it or not, Miller is 92 years old, and he just retired after being in private business trying to develop some commercial vehicles to go out into space. Now, coming up tonight at 5, the space shuttle was actually developed in the mid to late 70s, way before we had this great computing technology that we have today. So you'll find out how they did it. That's tonight at 5. And we hope that rain will stop, Glenn. Thanks very much. We'll see you then.